All right, I'm going to give you a close up view of how to load the bobbin into the bobbin case once you've got the thread on the bobbin. So our bobbin case has a couple features. Um, I don't know all the proper terms. I'm just going to use the ones that I use. Um, this is the horn or the hook here. It sticks up off the top of it. There's a lever on the top of it or the front of it that pulls up. And on the back is the opening where the bobbin goes. And on the side, um, we have a little gap in between. It's like a gap between your teeth um, that you floss. There's a metal plate here that runs along the side of the bobbin case and then the opening where the needle will come down um, into the bobbin and grab the thread. And this is our filled bobbin. Um, when you go to put it into the bobbin case, you want your thread tail to be coming off to the left. So I'm going to hold it in my left hand. I'm going to hold the bobbin case with the horn or the hook facing up in my right. And I'm just going to push the bobbin in. So far, so good. Now we're going to take this thread tail. Um, we need the thread to come out of this hole, right? So that way it can intertwine and make the lock stitch with the top thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this tail and we're going to slide it along till it comes to um, this, the gap, right? We're going to, it's like flossing your teeth. So we're going to floss the bobbin case and we're actually just going to pull this thread along the metal plate. So it slides underneath that metal plate and it's going to pop out into that hole. And you should hear a little click. Um, I'm filming this with my AirPods, so I don't know if the click was heard, but you should hear a little click. And if your bobbin is incorrectly, if your tension is good on your bobbin, it won't behave like a yo-yo. It'll just spin when you hold it by the thread. Now, another thing you need to know is that the lever on the front actually contains spring. And when I hold it up, when I pull the lever up, the spring engages and I can't, see I'm shaking it, I can't knock the bobbin out. However, if I just hold it like this without that, that um, lever, if I, without opening that lever or uh, pulling the lever up, there's no spring that holds it in place and your bobbin will just fall out.